after almost a month in Morocco, <laughs> we're finally getting we're to the We're finally desert. getting to the desert. We've got uh, another I think, four hours until we get to where's the zone. And we stop there, and then we've got another like two until we get to the Dades Valley. Uh, and then we stay there for the night, so. It's yeah. gonna be fun. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of change of plans have happened. I'm getting... tired of like not having information kind of laid out, um, which is interesting because like we're you know we're kind of doing this whole free form kind of travel. Like we basically were, and I don't think this happened on purpose. I no, of course not. It's just the disorganization a little bit, as we were told um, that we go a completely different route, and yeah, so we... we were kind of freaking out. Yeah, like... we were told we were supposed to come here. The very first night, and so we go Dade's to Dade's Gorge. Yeah, this is the Dade's Gorge, by the way. It's awesome. very beautiful. Very cool. So we were told we first we go to where's is that, which is true, and then second we come here, which is not true. We actually ended up going to the, uh, Zagora. A different desert. Oh, we got to ride camels for the first time, and that was crazy. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. It's incredibly painful. Yeah, if you're it's a incredibly dude, painful it's, for. It's worse. It's worse for a guy, but it's also just painful all around. Yeah. There's no stirrups like you have on horses, so you can't like put, put your weight on your feet, your feet just dangle. Mm -hmm. And for me, I have an incredibly bony butt, and it is just the worst, because basically, there is the backbone of the camel, and then there's some blankets over the top, and then there you are sitting on the blankets. Like, right on the boat. Yeah. A tip for Morocco, if you decide to ride camels, bring something to sit on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically it's just been really stressful when we were in Where's Is At, we were like, okay, we were told all of this information and this is all wrong. Mm -hmm. And we were in a tour bus with people who were doing uh, two nights and three days. No, 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 no. For the tour. Even less. We were in a tour bus with people oh, who were doing one, one night, night and two one days. One night. And we were the only people that were doing three nights, four days. Yeah. So we were freaking out thinking that we were put in the wrong bus. Yeah. Or in the wrong van. I don't know, bus. Basically, we were able to load Wi-Fi uh, on our phones and get the actual details of the tour. Yeah, which online. Were on the website. Yeah, so. which were totally different than what we were told when yeah. we booked it because we just booked it through our Riyadh. So tomorrow is the big rolling dunes that uh, make the Sahara Desert like famous. Like those are the ones that you see in pictures and you'll see in our pictures as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so last night was a really small desert. It's been kind of interesting. Uh, We've been traveling for about two and a half months now. Brett's gonna be turning 25 tomorrow. We'll be in the yeah. for his 25th birthday, so that's really cool. That's what I think. I keep forgetting. I know. When you travel, every day is your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's It's been an interesting ride so far. Stoked for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Stoked for the desert tomorrow. Yes. And then, uh, then we yeah. leave back, finally. Back to Marrakesh for a couple days, and then we're out. Uh, so. Thanks, concussion, for keeping us here so freaking long. Yeah. Uh, now I'm I'm starting to get ready to go for sure. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Tip number two, though, if you book a tour <laughs> into the desert, you will go through the Atlas Mountains, and if you are car sick, be prepared because it's yeah, that's my. That's yeah. my trip tonight. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's true. It's bad. Okay, tip number three. <laughs> Not really a tip, just an observation. It, and no matter where you book through, every tour is the same. Yeah. Every tour is the same. Besides so the price. We, yeah, exactly. Besides the price. We thought that what we were booking was only through our group of Riyads. There's a group of Riyads um, owned by a person in Marrakesh. And so we thought that the tours were just the what that. Uh, group of Riyadh's offered. It's not true. It, everybody is from different places, from hotels, from people on the street, from different Riyadh's, from unassociated Riyadh's, mm -hmm. everywhere. So it's like this weird like monopoly on it's Sahara like Desert big tours. Old hodgepodge of tourists. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So everybody gets one. shoved in a van. You all <laughs> yeah. go to the same spot in Zagora. Seriously, there's like 
people who have never is, even met before. Yeah, is a oh, hundred yeah. a real number? On a, yeah, because there was a camp like maybe a hundred meters, like yeah, off, off you know just a little. There were two marching. camps, and so like there was yeah, there was like fifty or sixty people in our camp. Yeah. The tip, I guess, is that you can probably just go to Muzuga on your own. There are buses that go out there. You can take uh, Supra tours, uh, and it'll give you an over at least from Fez there's an overnight bus from Fez to uh, Merzuga and from Merzuga I'm sure that there are a bunch of Riyads there actually I know that there are a bunch of Riyads there because we were looking into the possibility of doing that you could just go from Fez or from Marrakesh straight to Merzuga and then book a tour from there out into the desert rather than having to do this long like long-winded tour thing yeah so, so it depends on what you want if you sure. want to do the whole gutted tour thing book it wherever but you know don't be afraid to go against the the current and try doing it for yourself and get yeah. out to Merzuga, take a bus out here and uh or out out there and uh, do it that way it's been a long three weeks mm -hmm. it'll be a long month when we finally leave i'm hungry Dinner is gonna be served soon, so we're gonna go eat. <laughs> yep, we're gonna we're gonna go eat and then take off in the morning, and then finally we'll make it to the desert. It was this massive tour, and we were herded like cattle. Basically, told to hurry up. Like we got to see a lot of really cool things during that tour. They took uh, took us through and showed us how they made uh, traditional Berber rugs. I really liked hearing that. Like he referred to them, he's like all the women, uh, women in our you know in our village are artists. Like yeah, I liked that. yeah, was that was like, cool. You know, because it's like you you come here and you see like women's roles, men's roles kind of thing, and it, mm -hmm. and it was it, it made me happy to like see that like that's how they. It was definitely them. at least yeah, some bit more refreshing. No, thank you. Sorry. Never, <laughs> no, thank you. you never know. <laughs> you never know, Brett. I do this time. What was most unfortunate was we spent more time there learning about rugs and uh, having them sell people rugs than we did spend in the Sahara Desert during the daylight. Yeah. It, uh, the Sahara Desert itself is incredibly gorgeous um, and a uh, wonder of the world, and so it's a shame that we really only got to see it for like. I don't know, it half an, an hour of daylight. It was daylight. incredibly rushed. Yeah. It's time for the desert. Getting there. Yeah. We are in Merzuga. We made it to Merzuga. We made it. Yeah. And so it's actually really interesting. So we're now in the iconic Sahara Desert portion of our trip, the rolling sand dunes. It's really interesting. They actually, it's like they're obeying this weird border here. We're walking on this gravel, but there they are. There. So I think we finally got to experience the real Morocco, um, but not in the way that we expected. Yeah. Here in Morocco, homosexuality is illegal. Um, you can go to jail for six months to three years. Um, it depends on your lawyers, it depends on sentencing, but the bottom line is that literally a sexual preference is illegal. We were on a train um, and we were just sitting there watching stuff on the laptop and um, there was a girl next to us. She looked over to us and asked if like, she could talk to us. We were like, yeah, sure, what's up? And she was like, kind of like, almost crying. She was on the verge of a meltdown. Yeah, and so, she said that she just needed to talk to somebody and that she was like, felt like she was gonna explode because basically, um, she has had a girlfriend here in Morocco for the last years. Um, and her dad just found out um, about it. And yeah, so she was saying she was really scared um, about her dad finding out um, that she was gay. Um, she couldn't even use that word on the train is she was afraid of the people around her. She sounded like she had a lot of prospect and so just this one thing 
like is so debilitating mm -hmm. and the Moroccan passport is really weak uh, so it's not like she could just flee to a liberal European country yeah. we you know tried to reassure her like it's totally normal like you're not alone she was telling us about like their secret police here in Morocco um, kind of a double-edged sword where they help protect against terrorism a lot um, the secret police will like work in a cafe or uh, be like some vendor in a souk or something like that and they'll just listen to people's conversations so that if they hear somebody plotting something they can they can stop it preemptively on the other hand of that is that they also listen in for um, people like committing homosexual behavior like and being like that um, and then also turn them in so she's scared about that and about people around her and all this stuff and so they have they like monitor Facebook groups as well so if there's like LGBTQ uh, Facebook groups for Moroccans they'll like monitor that and then like go after the people in those groups and stuff so she had like no way to like communicate with other people outside of Morocco like not a real way to like see like how normal it is and like mm -hmm. how okay everything is mm -hmm. I just I couldn't imagine how that must have been and, and how like what she was going through yeah. you know so yeah so we just yeah it was like this crazy like emotional experience and like man I was yeah it was really eye-opening yeah it was really eye-opening so after that, I had a really different view of Morocco. I knew before coming here that homosexuality was illegal, and that was something that I was kind of um, not thinking about too much. I, j I just wanted to experience like what this different type of culture was, especially because like 90 some percent of people here are Muslim. So it was re I was really interested in experiencing an Islamic country and seeing like the differences and stuff like that. Um, but I guess for some reason it really didn't sink in the ramifications of what it meant for a country to have a, like homosexuality just not like not like having gay marriage be illegal but just the act of homosexuality be completely illegal yeah and yeah I, and I know that we, we deal with similar things like in America and there's still people out there who are very homophobic and mm -hmm. commit hate crimes and it just it sounded so much worse yeah here it's an interesting realization the glamour of travel when you don't know anything about where you're going. I mean, you, you, you see pictures, you feel mm -hmm. like you have an idea, you have a sense, but then you get here and it's like you have no idea. Yeah. And so. I no idea what it was going to be like here. Yeah. And uh, Morocco in general has just been an absolute roller coaster <laughs> of good times, bad times, people in your face. No. And, you know. Bad times turning into good times with. You know, enough <laughs> enough time passing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and it's, bottom line is, it's all been a huge learning experience. Yeah. Like, it's not as glamorous as you think, and I think that travel in general is not as glamorous as you think. You yeah. Know?